everybody! I like that we do the hey every time we start the video. It sounds better when we're more enthusiastic and yeah, excited. It as seems opposed better. To the, oh, hello. What? To How are you? Yeah. Um, okay, so we're excited today because the anticipation has been building. Building. Um, <laughs> like a geyser. <laughs> okay. Um, for this whiskey, because we've heard a lot about it. We've seen a lot of videos. We've tried other whiskey from, from this distillery before. Mm -hmm. And now it's time to do Amroot Fusion. Yeah, let's oh. crack into it. Oh. There you yeah. go. Uh, this one, I mean, look at Jim Murray's Whiskey Bible gives it 97 points. So take what you want from that, but you know, 97 yeah. points is pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> What's that 97 points based on? We don't know. No. Color, nose, taste, finish, and viscosity? Probably not. That's what we do here That's at Training That's what we C. do. And they're all weighted at a different uh, oh. percentage. I, yeah. Jesus. Excuse me. Okay. This is heavy. There it oh, is. Oh, a true that's unboxing. Nice. nice looking. Okay. So oh, we have got a little booklet inside, too. Perfect. Amroot Fusion. And a square piece of white paper. And that's a circle. circle. That's a circle. <laughs> <laughs> How much of you had to do? Okay, Amroot Fusion. This is East meets West. Nice. Wow. Love it. 50% alcohol. Oh, so it's a higher percentage. That's great. Yeah, it has multiple that. awards. East meets West in a subtle fusion of Indian and Scottish barley? So they, Does that mean they import their barley from Scotland? Look at all those awards like you mentioned. Yeah, let's see what the awards are. Why don't you... Uh, do something. We got the uh, Best Natural Cask Daily Dram Award of 2009. So that's ten, almost 10 years ago. So things, you know, Oh, this is a booklet years. telling about their different whiskeys. Cool. Where's the other one we have? We have, oh, we have this one too. We have the Amroot Single Malt Cask Strength 61.8%. Yep. Jim Murray gave that one 94. This one's 97. Wow. And this one actually also, uh, Jim Murray... Uh, it was the third best whiskey in the world in 2010. Who the hell is Jim Murray? Yeah, who cares? Okay, who cares? let's move along. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Okay. Okay. We got one of these little tab thingies here. Peel it back. I'm trying to watch this unboxing for the other side of the camera, so it might be a little bit awkward and uncoordinated. Okay, is everyone ready? Quiet on set! Quiet on set. Actually, should I uncork it by the... Okay, okay. Three, two, one. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. Look at the color on that. It has an interesting color. It's a... It's kind of more of a brownish kind of a color than... Uh, you know what it reminds me of? Mm. That interesting color that Linkwood had. Right, a bit murky. Yeah, a bit it's like murky. a murky bronze. It's not as, it's not as deep and um, and copperish. It's a bit. I wonder if uh, it's the back uh, of the label the same color as the front because I wonder if it's being oh, uh, influenced, being, uh, by, influenced that. by the color. Sorry. Okay, let's do this. Let's do it. Pour me some. Fifty percent. Sorry. So this is uh, done in obviously like a, a, well it's a single malt whiskey, we'll let it breathe for a bit. Mm -hmm. Single malt whiskey, as you may or may not know, basically means it's made with 100% malted barley. In this case, it sounds like it's from some malted barley from Scotland, some from India. Very, very cool. These guys put the uh, Indian whiskey market on the map. Yes. Yeah, and I think that's a, that's a pretty interesting thing, and hopefully there's more distilleries starting to pop up in the next couple of years. I hope because India, if this is a, if this holds the expectations we are wanting from it, then India could potentially be the next superpower in the whiskey world. Just like Taiwan is you know, coming it, up right it's now. It's coming up right now with yeah. Kavalan, mm -hmm. and that is some delicious stuff. So this, yeah, this this could potentially. Uh, be groundbreaking. Be groundbreaking. Revolutionary. Yeah. Okay, this, oh, just for you information nuts out there, it says bottle number 40, January 2016. So I'm guessing that's when it was bottled. 
Oh, okay. Uh, in 2016. So this one's been on the shelf for a couple of years now. Bottle number 40 out of what? Like 20 million bottles? <laughs> they make a lot of whiskey. Okay. So uh, this is just one in the, the very big lineup of, of uh, Amrut. Did so you think... know? No, I didn't. That I lived in India for a while? Oh, I didn't. Oh, yeah. fun fact. Yeah. I lived in Goa, India for a little while. I'll tell you about that sometime. Yeah, maybe on a whiskey talk. All my adventures in India. Okay. Okay, let's get to the nose on this guy. We're not going to do a full review. This is just an unboxing. First impressions. Mmm. Oh, that is sweet and malty and... Malty and has a bit of a zing to it. Bit of a zest. Bit of a... Like yeah, a, it's a zesty... Uh, um... What do you call it? Uh, well, like a citrus kind of zest. A little bit of that almost kind of bourbon cask style. But it has a, a fruit, getting a fruit a, note to it. The Fig Newton on there. Yes, Fig Newton. Doughy, absolutely. doughy the, Fig Newton. It's the dough of the Fig Newton. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nice. so it's got, some, it's got some dates and everything in there. Hey, save it. Save okay, it. Okay, yeah, yeah we'll save it. But this is, uh, you know, white. We, we've had uh, an amber before, as you said. It the was the cast strength. And that one's a bit punchy. It's a bit punchy. It's a <laughs> bit hot. It's one of those times where maybe cast strength doesn't necessarily work as well as you would hope, even adding water to it. Yeah. It's, uh, so it's this one, one being, I think, you know, 12% less alcohol yeah. than that, uh, can, on sometimes the nose instantly. It's if it's too powerful, it can mask the flavors that are in there because you're yeah. just knocked off your seat with, yeah. with this alcohol blast and you can't really get your bearings. So at 50%, 50% to me is dang close to the sweet spot of whiskey. Yeah. We were talking about that the other day. We think that 45, 46% yeah, is, spot is yeah. really perfect. Even, you know, things like, um, uh, oh, is it Ardbeg? No, it's, Laf it's Lafroy Cortecast is 48%. <clears throat> yeah. Like that 48% mark. I think between 45 and 50, anywhere in there, it's nice. is a yeah. nice sweet spot. Yeah. Under 45, you're not getting enough. And then between 45 and 50 is kind of just right over 50. It starts getting a bit punchy unless it's done really, really well. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Okay. Because yes. some cast strikes oh, are amazing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Okay, on the nose. Like, we won't give too much detail, but I'm really, really liking the nose. Okay, let's taste the stuff. The nose leads to some high expectations. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Wow. That is nice. That mm -hmm. you can definitely uh, mm -hmm. the, the percentage of alcohol is higher which, on, on the flavor than on the palate. They're it's on, not on intrusive or aggressive to no. the point that it's it's interfering with the experience. Way to go, Amru. This one knocks it out of the park so far. I mean, well it's done. It's got a it's got a, a smoky kind of flavor to it, which oh. you don't really get in the nose. So it's it's got that smoke to it, not like a peat or anything like that. And not even exactly like a char. It's more like just a a slight. It, it's it's on your. It's in the like wind. It's, on your it's in the yeah. wind. Yeah. You just go. Mm. But that date and fig Newton and biscuity kind of flavors on there. It's very reminiscent of of a scotch. Mm -hmm. Obviously, yeah. I mean, like with the Taiwanese whiskey, yeah. it's so different. Mm -hmm. You know, it's yeah. very it's very tropical and whatnot. But this is very scotchy. It is scotchy, and with it being oh, it was on the can back there. But the the Scottish the, and the Scottish and Indian malts, yeah, uh, you can definitely oh, taste yeah. the Scottish barley, yeah, yeah. But wow. really, really nice. I'm liking this stuff mm. already. I think it's rich in character. It is. <laughs> I read that on the bottle. Oh, okay. Well, it's not wrong, <laughs> and you're not wrong. But now, uh, when we do our actual, when we do our tasting notes. Um, and we usually line them up to a couple of different whiskeys. Uh, it's going to be kind of a hard placement, I think. Yes, it's very mm -hmm. scotchy, mm -hmm. but where do you, what, what do you compare it to? You know, mm. like it almost has like a slight unpeated Coila kind of vibe to it, but it also has some sherry space side kind of characteristics to it. I think we are going to need to buy more Indian whiskey mm -hmm. and compare them against themselves. Mm hmm. You know yeah. what I mean? Because right now we don't have a lot of Indian whiskey to compare and contrast to. We have another Amroot 
and Royal Challenge. And yeah. this is not going to, um, or <laughs> Royal Challenge is not going to hold a candle to this thing. So. No, absolutely. <laughs> um, and I mean, then there's Paul Jean. Yeah. And then there's, uh, well, I mean, there's a huge range of different M roots out there. Sure. So it, when you're comparing M roots to M roots, it's like apples to apples off the same tree. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway. So. Wow, I think this is a really long unboxing. Yeah, but really good. Yeah, great. It was a really good unboxing. <laughs> <laughs> Says us. Yeah, we thought it was good. Uh, anyway, we're trending in C, and we do whiskey reviews Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, or whiskey videos for that matter. So subscribe so that you don't miss out. Click like, mm. and uh, see you next time. Cheersies? Cheersies.